third graders, it's Mrs. Zetter home. We have a fun research project today. We are going to be researching an animal from Michigan. Now it's not a very long project, but it is a fun one and we are going to get it all done today. So there are six steps to this project and we are going to go through each one of them so you know exactly what to do. Keep watching. The first thing you will do after watching this video will be to pick an animal from Michigan. You have four choices for this assignment only four. You must pick one of these. You can pick a white-tailed deer, an eastern box turtle, a snowshoe hare, or a coyote. Just a quick choice doesn't need to take too long. For this example, I am going to be using a bat, a brown bat that is found in Michigan, to go through what you will be doing in this project. A bat is not one of your choices. It's just for my example. Once you have picked your animal, the next thing you'll do on Schoology is you will click on the link for your chosen animal. It's going to open a web page and it's going to have a bunch of information about the animal you have chosen. You must read this web page aloud or you can read with an adult at home. I do not want you reading it in your head. For my example, I'm doing the brown bat. I would go to the web page. Right now, you don't see a link for mine, but here's what my webpage would look like. So this is what would show up. I would look at the title, bat, big brown, and then I'm going to read all of the information below. I'm not going to read it in my head. I'm either going to read it aloud or with an adult. This is the next step. Now that you have read all about your animal, and I've read all about bats, it's time to set up our note page. Find a lined sheet of paper that looks like this, and you're going to first write your animal's name at the top. Mine, I would write brown bat or big brown bat. You might write coyote, or you might write one of the other three options. Then you're going to split your paper into four boxes by putting that cross right across your paper. You're going to top, label the top left corner habitat, the top right corner traits, the lower left corner diet, and then the lower right corner three facts. This is where we are going to take our notes on our animal. To complete my notes on these four categories all about my animal, I'm going to need to refer to my web page. Even if I already know facts about this animal, I'm only going to use the facts found on the website that I went to today. So let me switch to that web page again. Now, I know that I need to talk about habitat. Hey, there's a heading for habitat. So I'm going to read all about it. They live in the forest, but have some have become used to living in towns and cities. They um, roost in attics, barns, and under the eaves of porches. They hibernate in caves, mines, and other safe places. So now that I've read that, I know exactly what I can write on my note page. Let me go back. You would be doing this on paper. So under my habitat section, I'm going to write at least one bullet point, maybe two, about my animal's habitat. You need at least one, but if you have enough information for two, go for it. Here you can see I have used two bullet points and I have only written down the information that I found on my web page. I didn't use complete sentences, just phrases, and that's good enough. The next part of our notes that we are going to focus on is the box about traits. Hey, we've been learning about those in science, so you should be an expert. Let's go back to our web page. I'm going to my web page on bats, and I'm going to look at the traits. Hey, there's a heading that says body traits. I'm sure that will help me. This is a large bat compared to most of the US bats that can reach more than five inches long, though almost half of it is its tail. And it still weighs less than an ounce. They have a 14 inch wingspan and have a medium sized rounded ears and sharp little teeth. Their fur varies in color from tan to dark brown and they are lighter underneath. Their wings and ears are black. There's a flap of skin that's stretched between the legs and tail called 
a uropatagium. I don't know how to say that one. Better look it up. I'm going to now use what I just read to write some notes in my four square notes. I need at least two bullet points, and I bet I could do more this time. As you can see, I've used my web page to now write my notes. I'm using bullet points, not really complete sentences, just phrases, to list the traits of my animal that I've chosen. I actually had a lot that I could write down, so I chose four, but you need at least two. We're now on the third box of our four square notes, diet. Make sure you're using the information from the web page. You don't need to ask Alexa or Google, just use your web page to help. So I'm looking for diet. Oh, right at the bottom, they eat insects. They prefer beetles, but will eat any flying insect. Time to go write my notes. Here you can see I've just taken my notes for diet. I just wrote the word insects, and then I kind of went underneath and wrote beetles are best. That's what I learned on my web page. Time to move on to the last box. The last box on our four square notes is three facts. That means I need to use that web page and find three facts that I have not already written on my note sheet. I'm going to list them in that box. Remember, they should not be things that we have already written on this paper. Plus, they should be from that website, not anywhere else. So I went back to my web page and I found three facts that I've not already used on this page. I wrote down one, two, three, and I wrote a sentence after each one. I suggest writing one at a time so that you know you have enough space. Number one, I started with a capital and ended with a period. I wrote, these can be found in Canada, the US, and South America. Notice I capitalized proper nouns. Number two, they are nocturnal. Again, I wrote a complete sentence, not like the other boxes where I could just write a phrase. Three, I wrote, they hunt using echolocation. Again, capital, period at the end. Once my four square notes are complete and look like this, then I'm going to take a picture of my notes. I'm going to use this later when I submit it to my teacher on Schoology. The next thing that I'm going to do is Google a picture of my animal. I need to make sure I spell it correctly. Once I, get, once I Google it, I'm going to click the image tab so that I can find pictures of that animal. I don't need to look for very long. I know that most of the first few pictures will do just fine. I'm now going to draw a picture of my animal on a piece of paper. It should be a blank piece of paper if possible. If you don't have any plain white or or plain um, cream colored paper, then you may use a lined sheet of paper, but a white paper would do the best. Your picture should take up the whole entire page, meaning it shouldn't be tiny in the very center. Your picture should also be neat and drawn with accuracy. Notice how this picture of a bat isn't very accurate. Sure, it has eyes and wings, but I can do better than this. Something more like this, would be acceptable. This has details like the ridge on the wings or the pointed ears. Your picture should also be colored. See, this isn't very good, all plain and basic. We know that our animals have color. Make sure you're coloring nicely. Once you're done with your drawing that takes up that whole paper, you're going to take a picture of it with your iPad. This will be used when you submit it to your teacher. The final step of this project is going to be to submit it. To do that, you'll need to go to your Notability app. In the top right corner, you're going to click on the pencil on the paper. That creates a new note. Now that you've created a new note, you're going to click the plus sign. You're going to go to Photo Library and the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to find the picture of your four square notes that are completed. Here's mine. I'm going to click add. Now you can see that this picture is on my Notability app. I need to stretch it because right now it's far too small. My teacher would not be able to read this and she might make me redo it if I don't stretch it out. Stretch it out so that it fills the whole page. 
Now I'm going to click the down arrow in the bottom right corner to go to page two. I'm going to again press the plus sign, go to my photo library, and this time I'm going to find my drawing of my animal, the one that's colored in. I'm going to add it, but again, it's too small. I'm going to stretch it as big as it goes. That's great. Now that I have my notes on page one and my drawing on page two, I'm now going to upload this to Schoology. You know how to do that. Top left corner, box with the arrow coming out. Go to other apps if you need to and su submit it to Schoology as the assignment name. This assignment name is called MI for Michigan, Animal Research. MI for Michigan, Animal. Readers, now it's your turn. You're going to do this exact same process, but with the animal you choose from Michigan, one of those four. Go have fun.